Well, Curly, congratulations. Signed with Australian Rugby today for another year. You're excited? Yeah, very excited to put pen to paper, mate. <coughs> uh, it's, um, you know, I'm really enjoying my rugby here in Australia. You know, I feel like there's, a, there's a, a lot more to achieve in the game in Australian rugby. I've been playing um, at this stage um, for a long time now and I've only won one premiership with the Waratahs, <laughs> uh, maybe two rugby championships and I think as a player to, to, to try and get more trophies in the cabinet that's something that uh, I want to be a part of and, and want to achieve so um, you know, I'm just really excited to, to be able to get another opportunity to do that. And in a time of uncertainty, because you must be loving it, you don't know who the Waratahs coach <laughs> is going to be, and you don't know who the, Wall yeah. the Wallabies coach is going to be. For me as a player, it, it did raise the eyebrows a bit, but I think being around in, in both the Waratah squads and Wallaby squads at this stage, it's just given me a lot of confidence uh, in, in, the, in the playing groups. You know, what do you see as being the important attributes that you, you'd love to see the Waratahs um, administration and Australian Rugby Administration think about when they're hiring their new coach? I think just uh, something that I've, I've, I've always gravitated to is, is people management. Learning to have a, a, you know, a, a relationship with players. Today's coach, Michael Checker, I think that's why he, he's, he's good at what he does, does um, is that he knows, he knows how to get the best out of his players. For me personally, that's what makes me tick. Just pure honesty. There's no beating around the bush. You may, a couple of years ago, have been a bit disillusioned with Australian rugby. You left, you went away for a couple of years. Was, was that the case? Not so much disillusioned. I think, uh, I think my experience at WAS um, opened my eyes up um, in, in how the game's changed. There's, a, there's not just one way of playing the game. It's something that uh, you know, I'm really happy I did. Do you feel you're a better player now than you were than when you went away? Yeah, I'd like to say so. Um, certainly confidence-wise and experience-wise, uh, I think that, that adds to the maturity of, of you as a player uh, and as a person, I think, as well. Did you miss Australian rugby? I did miss Australian rugby and seeing the, guy, the guys wearing the Wallaby gold um, over in the spring tour when I was over there and I couldn't play, it was burning me to bridges. So I think you, when you're a young kid, you, you, you kind of don't realise how special it is to wear the Wallaby gold and you can see a lot of guys when they go away from it they 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 understand that feeling you know not not having it uh, not having the opportunity to wear it uh, uh, yeah certainly hit home and um, I'm just very fortunate now I can continue for another year uh, uh, to participate um, in the game I love there was a little bit of speculation around the place that uh, you might head towards the NRL. Was that ever really <laughs> a serious sort of... Like I've always had a passion for rugby league. You know, it's certainly um, catching up on over the weekend on, on certain games. I uh, always wanted to try and see if I, if I had it there, but uh, rugby's given me so much. It's changed my life. It's given me a life. And uh, I, I think there is a role for me within the game, especially being an Indigenous uh, player, the only one at this level. There's some space there that I'd like to kind of tap into and, and try and encourage young, other young Indigenous guys, the kids and guys and girls to play our game and uh, it's something that I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of, um, pr proud of doing. Yeah, the, the west of Sydney is a, an area we really need to put some focus into. I know you've been a great ambassador out there. You must see some huge talent amongst the kids there in the west. There is so much talent uh, in, the, in the western Sydney young Polynesian kids, Indigenous kids, um, just less guidance. There's no, there's no real platforms out there for these kids to kind of, to go by and, and uh, to, to, to aspire to, 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 to play rugby. And um, it's something that I'm really passionate about in trying to help grow the game out there. Uh, let's get excited, yeah? Now you're coming into your third World Cup. Um, I mean, how do you see this campaign compared to those two? Um, I've always believed that we're we're a special team and um, I think people have got to understand that when you do wear the Wallaby jersey and you're representing on a, on a big stage, you just turn into a different beast. You, you, you put so much on the line and uh, it, it, the, the, I don't know what it is, it's just the, the magic, magic touch or the magic feeling that allows you to become a, a different player or a different beast. And I think that's what enables us to create the belief and, and gives us the confidence to go out there and uh, you know, win games. Well, 
Mate, congratulations on the signing. It's a great day for Australian rugby and hopefully a great day for Kirtley Burl and uh, good luck for the World Cup. Thank you.